This is a spot which is approximately five kilometers to the north of Mwava and there's this uh, bunker here and uh, this is on the border between Germany and Poland before the war. In fact, uh, the border between uh, Russia and uh, Prussia uh, earlier. Um, I think this is on the, the, the German side of the border, to be quite honest, but I, I, quite honest, I don't know. Um, if it is, then that bunker is clearly pointing the wrong way, because here on the northern side, uh, there's no... I know where to fire from. And coming around, now that's, they see the sun is uh, almost, uh, it's, sun's over there, sun's in that direction. So uh, that would, uh, and it's now it's just gone 12, it's about 12.30. So that's, uh, that's looking south. And here we see here that we do have, uh, there we are, there's a place to shoot from. And there's the entrance as well, so it's a bit odd. So obviously maybe it's part of something else. I've got these trenches which have been recently dug, I, su I, su I suspect. Um, the Battle of Moava was from the 1st to the 3rd of September 1939. Um, Battle of, uh, was it was one of the strongest held positions on the, uh, on the border, I would say. Um, Vesta Plata is something everybody, everybody knows about. But, um, Moava uh, is, is a much bigger battle. I mean, Vesta Plata on the Polish side is 200, uh, 210 soldiers on the 212. Uh, this is much, much bigger. Of course, it was uh, the Wehrmacht uh, broke through. And countryside. Good ca tank country, as you might expect. Right. So I'm going to have a bit more prowl around in this area, see what else I can turn up. And uh, there's the car. Quite flash. Not bad, eh? Something I've always wanted like that. See what else turns up. 